Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I finally have some content for you guys that is not Righteous Fire. Uh, I'm currently playing on a... Uh, it's kind of weird. It started off as a Lightning Arrow Champion and then migrated over to a Reign of Arrows Champion. Uh, primarily because since you only have like two extra projectiles from the tree, which would be this node here, Multi-Shot and this node here, Master Fletcher, before any form of like tattoos and stuff. The three proj on Lightning Arrow just didn't feel very good. So I swapped over to Reign of Arrows with the help of Manny and my chat. Uh, I didn't make this character. My chat and I pretty much like built the character from the ground up. They pretty much told me what to do and I pretty much just have the gear for it, right? But as we play through, we kind of learn and that's, that's part of the fun here. So real fast, I'm gonna go ahead and jump through a quick tier 14 map to show you guys. I think the last time I played a bow build was like quite literally, I don't know, seven years ago or something. Uh, it's 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 a breeze. That's a word, pretty much all I'm gonna say. It is a lot of clicking, um, but it is a breeze to play. So as we are playing a champion, uh, we'll talk about some stuff here in a minute. Uh, we are using adrenaline, so I weapon swap and basically click any button, which is my corrupting fever setup. So what this is gonna do is it pulls your life below a certain threshold, which then forces your adrenaline to proc. Uh, which gives you basically 10%, oh well, it gives you permanent intimidate, 100% increased damage, 25% attack cast, movement speed, and physical damage reduction. All right, so with that being said, let us go. What I'm doing right now on this character is I'm actually farming uh, essences. So there's gonna be essences on this map, and I'll be honest, I probably shouldn't be. Well, it's not that I shouldn't be doing them, it's that the essences are really tanky in T16 content. So I've been farming them in lower tier essences to uh, lower tier maps to basically fix my boat, which we'll show in a little bit. Especially because I'm running uh, possessed like. Uh, where they call possessed essences as well. I have to say, even though the character has a very small life pool, um, I have like 3.7k right now. I'll be around like a little bit more than 4k later. Um, I, I have had only two deaths in maps. Uh, so if I type the deaths command, it'll say a lot more. Those are all from Exarch. That does not count. <laughs> that was all from the Exarch ball phase. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I had one death because I ran a no regen map and I just ran into a, a pack of mobs with uh, no mana so I couldn't actually attack. But you can run no regen just fine you just have to like not spam in the same like add nothing uh, and then another one when i was still leveling i had like 3k hp and uh harvest mob like one shot me so i have to say i'm pretty blown away with how tanky it is i think it's really the combination of having you know the nice buffer of uh what is it like 30,000 armor with your flasks on 27,000 evasion okay, hold on these essence mobs are not happy though these are the guys I was talking about. I'm not really ready to fight these yet. These are the uh, tier 16, well, tier 14 possessed. Okay, we're gonna leave those alone. We're gonna pretend like I didn't summon those. We're not ready to fight those just yet. Um, but yeah, the combo of like full spell suppression, 30,000 armor, 25,000 evasion. Um, I don't shatter everything, but I definitely shatter like white mobs. So that helps a lot too. Ball rain of arrows can help a lot with the pin. Uh, basically, like, if a mob is scary and it's not a possessed essence mob, usually I can Vol Rain of Arrows like this and it pins everything. Permanent Fortify from Champion, very good overleech. Although I, not overleech, sorry, leech with instant leech uh, and blind. However, I don't really enjoy bossing on the character too much. I think I will if I can get the HP pool to, like, 5,000 and it still feels good. Uh, I don't know, I just prefer right now RF for more comfier bossing. Uh, but again, I think if I could get the damage way higher on this character, I don't actually even know what the damage is. Um, compared to my RF characters, this feels like it's... I want to say between, like, I don't know, 3 and 5 million, but I have... Honestly, I really don't know. Um, I tried to POB it for, like, 8 seconds and realized uh, it's a little complicated, so I just stopped. Maybe not 5 million, maybe closer to like 3 million. Because all this had was, uh, 
monster steel charges, reduce flasks, and monster life. Okay, so real fast, I'm going to kind of go over the gear and explain the process of what we are doing. So this is a spine bow that I found with tier 3 fractured lightning. So right now it's got the tier 3 fractured lightning, the T1 fire, a crafted gold. But it's got a really weak crit and it has no attack speed. So I've been farming essences in lower tier maps. This is only about after four hours of essence farming. Um, so I've got a bunch of shrieking essence of hatred and a bunch of anger. I cannot use the lightning one because uh, uh, it has the fractured lightning on it. So I'm basically stuck between those. So I think the goal is to hit like T3, T1, T1, T3, T2, T1, something like that. And then if the suffixes are garbage, I'll probably do prefixes cannot be changed, scour, multi-mod. And then I believe there's a critical strike. Is there like critical strike with attributes or is that? Ah, yeah. Uh, strength and intelligence with 21 to 25 crit. It's already quite a bit better than mine. Unless I hit 21, that'd be pretty sad. 25 would be kind of sick. Uh, and then just like attack speed. Uh, and I think that would be pretty solid already on this weapon. A uh, helmet, I'm using a Devotos. It's not normally what I would use, but again, the survivability has been a lot better than I thought on this character. I would normally use this helmet here. No, not this helmet. Where did I even put my old helmet? I'll be honest, I don't know where my old helmet is. Doesn't really matter. Uh, pretty much just using a Devotos because of the uh, speed plus the Chaos Res. It feels really good. The character's currently at like 58% um, Chaos Res. My amulet, I'm trying to switch to, I believe it's called a Heres. Um, pretty much just a crit multi amulet with minus mana cost. One thing that's nice is Reign of Arrows costs way less mana than Lightning Arrow. So that also feels much better. Um, Quiver is pretty much, uh, Rog gave it to me. Would be looking for crit multi on our Quiver, but this is pretty much what we've got for right now. Rod Speed helps out for Reign of Arrows because it's the arrows falling from the sky. A lot of people don't like the delay on Reign of Arrows, but if you've got Prod Speed, it feels much, much, much better. Also, with the Mastery, Prod Speed actually ends up giving you damage. Damage? Where did it go? I don't actually remember where it is. Did I remove that? Increases and reductions to projectile speed also apply to damage with bows. Oh, shit. I don't even have that passive right now. Yo, hold on. Let me, uh, let's get some more damage, boys. Where are we at right now? 51k? Uh, wait a minute. Wait, I do have it. Wait, what just happened? Never mind. I'm I'm drunk. Don't mind me, boys. I'm I'm morning time. Okay. Uh. Yep. All right. Let's see here. So I've got taming. Uh, taming is really good. Gives super good all res, which the build does need. It, it does get pretty resistant starved. Uh, increased damage with hits and ailments per free shock or ignite on enemy also helps a lot with mapping. Um. And your bossing damage. I don't know how much I actually reliably proc this. For sure, I ignite. Uh. And I definitely chill. But I don't think I freeze bosses. Uh, but for mapping, this is going off like constantly. Uh, othering is pretty much just like res with some uh, LE damage with attacks. Perseverance, which is the main reason why I wanted to play this character, was the raw like movement speed. I've always loved the idea of going really fast, but play Righteous Fire, which can only go so fast. To be fair, the explode variants are extremely quick, right? Um, boots, pretty much just life res boots. Very good boots given to me by Rog. Uh, gloves, I'm trying to replace. A lot of my Eldritch Implicits are not really good right now. I, like, I know I can get Rage, for example, here on my gloves. As for my Auras, I'm running Haste and Precision with Determination. I was running Anger, but because I'm running Trinity in my links here, um, Trinity was not working with Anger because I was... I think it's because I have the T1 flat fire on the bow, plus the Anger with the Champion Aura FX scaling. Kind of makes it too much fire and then i think that gets screwed up right um other than that to talk about my ascendancy um unstoppable hero pretty nice 20 percent attack speed stun immunity armor and evasion permanent fortify uh first to strike last to fall which is the adrenaline i was talking about uh and then inspirational because inspirational is huge for scaling your grace and your determination furthermore that also stacks with oh you know i forgot about my defiance banner whoops actually use a little bit of damage um that also stacks uh with your perseverance because perseverance is giving you uh one percent attack damage per 200 of the lowest of your armor and evasion rating so that's where this comes in 
I was originally running um, Grace, and I was getting a lot more evasion, but it didn't really matter because my armor is stuck at like this number here anyway, right? And swapping on haste just makes the build feel much better, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yep, other than that, um, the only things I don't really like, it's kind of like when I played Bone Shatter, I didn't really enjoy dropping the totems and then whacking. I hate it even more so on this character because it it's not as tanky even though it's pretty tanky so dropping the totems feels kind of bad now i've been told to use the artillery ballista setup so i've got elemental damage with attacks elemental focus focus ballista inspiration and artillery ballista um i want to try dropping this to a mono forge arrow setup even if i lose like 50 percent of my total damage the fact that it would trigger while i'm shooting would make the build feel for me much better much 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 better so that's something I want to figure out what I need to pivot into that. Otherwise, for the rest of my links here, uh, Haste, Mark on Hit, Sniper's Mark, Determination. Uh, my main links are currently Inspiration, Trinity, Increased Critical Damage, Elemental Damage with Attacks, Mirage, Archer, Reign of Arrows with the Vol version, uh, Monoforged Arrows, Frenzy, Ensnaring Arrow, Power Charge on Crit. I wasn't able to do Ensnaring Arrow before because we had Pierce, um, Flame Dash, Defiance Banner, Arrogance and Precision. The Arrogance precision, pre precision gets dropped when I get the Heroes Amulet, which is pretty cool because that saves two slots and I get a lot of life back. Even though the Heroes Amulet doesn't have life, I get life back because I don't have to reserve. Um, so that's pretty nice as well. Yep, that's pretty much the character though. Like I said, we're going to be farming some essences on this character, trying to recraft the bow, and then we'll pretty much see what happens after. Uh, I think what comes next is probably Toda trying to get some extra projectile bonus to see if we can swap to uh, either Tornado Shot or go back to Lightning Arrow. Not really sure on that one. Again, you know, we're kind of just feeling it out and seeing how it goes. Anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch, us streaming, or catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all later.